and I was like, did the CIA design this to make me specifically go insane, yes. guys? Because it really felt like it. It really felt like, like it. In it's this it's like in Waco where they were blasting the chair <laughs> to get yeah. that out. Just this this scene playing on loop on a giant TV screen. This like five minutes of like chaos improv. improv Brian improv. Brian's in there for like, you know, he's, ah! he's, got, he's got it. He's got his. Ah! He's got his Davidian standoff going. Fifteen minutes in, he's like, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that moment, for sure. Hello, welcome back to Good, Better, Bad, Bad, show we watch terrible movies. Tell you should too. It's the 130th episode, 130th episode. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Chilligo. Joined, as always, Mr. Kyle Henn, the other host of this delightful show if i do say so myself kyle we're Ooh. normally save this kind of movie for december for dean simber but christmas came early <laughs> christmas came early we're doing dean simber in june baby yeah. we're talking about the 2018 film andy the talking hedgehog hey be your own hollywood film Andy, the talking head. Make sure you excuse me, announcer guy. You know, I think I could handle this. Yay. <laughs> Kyle, I don't remember how I found this movie. I was, I think I saw it on Reddit or something somewhere. And I looked it up and watched the trailer and was like, yeah, this looks bad. Let's do this. It's got Dean Cain. Looks terrible. I, I love how we went from watching Cross one week to watching this the next. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. A few weeks ago, I was just minding my own business with my best friend, Lily. I love you, Andy. I love you too, Lily. But then we were transported to a magical land. Where are we? Uh, this is... Holy shit. You know what this is, though? I realized, and I was amazed that it doesn't seem like anybody in the production team were the same people. Like, the only crossover is Dean Cain. This movie is just the the dog who saved movies. Yes. yes, it is exactly that. Right? It's like the same like production quality. It's mm -hmm. the same kind of premise, kind of, where it's like two bumbling, uh, you know, uh, ne'er-do-wells trying to like... Where, where Dean Cain is replaced by a Sicilian and Coco <laughs> Diaz is replaced by... Yeah, by, by Mer uh, Curly, uh, Curly from the Three Stooges. Yeah, exactly. He literally, Kyle, he's doing curly from the, he does the, woo, 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 woo. yeah, he does, uh, yeah, um, and it's, uh, <laughs> this movie's fucking terrible, Kyle, and I can't wait to talk about it, because it's fucking insane, and it makes you feel like you're losing your mind, because spoilers, Kyle, this movie literally, I think, may have been just a documentary of Dean Kane losing his mind. Yes. <laughs> okay, yep. I'm having a nervous breakdown. It's what it feels like, and we'll get into <laughs> it. So this movie was written by George Saunders, uh, who also, he's an alum of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, when I looked oh, through his... Oh, uh, Lord. Do you have a guess? You'll never guess what movie he wrote. He wrote one of the movies we've talked about, um, and it's not one of the, the Dog Who Saved movies, which hang I would have assumed. On. You're never going to get it, but I want to see if you can get a, a just guess. Maybe you'll fucking ballpark just out of nowhere. Recent or, or very uh, early uh, Not I, somewhere in the middle, I think. It's it's not recent, um, but it's not like one of our first 10 episodes. So, I, you know, somewhere in the 20s to 80s, I, I think. Miami Connection. <laughs> Wow, that would have been a crazy... No, no, no. <laughs> Way less exciting. Uh, we, Miami Connection was written by uh, the guy who's oh, in yeah. Miami Connection. What's his name? <laughs> um, no, um, uh, uh, Black Rose. The Alexander Nevsky. What? The the Russian Wolf. Uh, yes. Which is not one I remember a lot of details about. Yeah. It's one of those ones that just kind of blends in with other movies. But uh, yeah, he wrote Black Rose, apparently. That's... That make nothing like this movie. No. Like nothing like this movie. I wish all my friends could talk. All things growing, 
chirping or squeaking. Get ready to do some serious people speaking. She gave me the power to speak. How do you go from doing like a crime mystery drama to this? To be fair, I don't know how much of this movie was written. Like it seems like the loose idea of a plot and then all of the lines are just sort of improvised is what it feels like yeah. at least to me. Cartoons, potato chips. What? Daddy, are you okay? Especially with all the scenes with the teenage girls. Like, they, yeah. every, single, every single thing they did was like... All of the have, voiceover from the animals the is improvised it, 100%. It felt 100% like Alvin Fling. Yeah, it felt... Oh, yes. Wait a second. Is that milk? Did Lily put out milk for me? It is. I love milk. Milk, 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 milk. We gotta give you a name. I already have a name. How about we call you Rover? I already have a name. My name is Alvin Fwang. Well, okay. But it's spoilers, the director of this yes. movie is the one doing the shitty voiceover. It's wild. This is a nice little flower. Lily likes flowers. I think I'd like to bring this flower home for her. Uh, so this movie also stars, along with Dean Cain, Tara Reid. Better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. <laughs> Who, when she announced this movie on her Twitter, apparently... Oh, um, no. She posted the poster for this movie, which is here. It's hilariously bad. And it's also a picture of her from like American Pie in the poster, which was, you know, 30 years ago. But uh, she apparently said she was not taking the film seriously because really? she knew it would be bad. <laughs> really? I'm your fairy BFF. I know all about you and Andy too. We go at the open as this movie opens. We get the uh, like production company screens, and one of them is for a website called BeYourOwnHollywood.com. Yes, and that is the director of this movie's website, I yes. guess, about how to be your own um, financer and distributor. Yeah, of your movies and how to make movies. Film schools are basically going to teach you the right way to do things and i am hopefully this weekend going to teach you the wrong way to do things because that's how actual producers actually get things done and it's um, called putting out a submission to amazon yeah yeah exactly it's it's oof, boy i don't give a damn if the distributor says yes they're all going to say yes i'm going to make a movie that every single distributor i'm going to talk to is going to say yes bob was out here grilling a week ago he dropped a piece of sausage it's delicious I'll bet if Mike were here, he'd be complaining that it's just turkey sausage. Hmm, I love it. Sausage, sausage, sausage. But then after the opening, uh, the production companies, we get, uh, we jump right into stock footage of Hedgehogs. Mm. The movie delivers on its title from moment one, Kyle. I was promised Hedgehogs. I got you Hedgehogs. Got, yep, you got them. <laughs> I mean, we get a bunch of different Hedgehogs yes. all pretending to be the same Hedgehog. Most, mostly because you can, because they, apparently they didn't know the difference between a uh, Eastern Hedgehog and an African Hedgehog. I love that Kyle, Kyle, Kyle I, knows I, I looked, I looked that I looked up because up. I was like, like these Hedgehogs do not look like no, the same they species. look nothing alike yeah, yeah they look nothing alike but they're like ah they're all fucking hedgehogs and i here's the thing i went to pond five and uh stock footage so oh, do they have those literally googled hedgehog <laughs> and like all of Great. the clips are like the first clips that come up on pond I'm just, five. just drinking up milk <laughs> yeah because like yeah. who the fuck's gonna put out a thing of milk for a hedgehog in no the middle of the, whatever. yeah yeah, it's fucking wild. Uh, also, the opening credits come on, and again, they're just like generic, like uh, serif font, white text over, you know, black background. And the song playing during the credits does not tonally match this movie at all. It sounds like the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> It like if you I'll put them next to each other. It yeah. sounds like the Phantom of the Opera, and I don't know why that's the sound we're going for for their opening uh, opening song. <laughs> but then we kick in, and the Hedgehog is talking, and Kyle. Hi, how you doing? I'm Andy, and right now. I'm being kidnapped by this total jerk. You, you compared it to Alvin Flang, and holy shit, that is accurate, because the voice that this director is doing, 
is... Although we don't get any great lines like no. the pizza face cinder block. All right, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. N nothing quite on that level. We do get some good <laughs> ones at times. Nothing quite on that level. Towards the end, we get some really, especially from the cat, we get some really good dark, like existential dread type of lines that are kind of <laughs> great. I sat here alone in a prison of my own thoughts. But um, but he's doing like, oh, I'm a, I'm a hedgehog. Oh, hey, everybody, I'm Andy and I'm a hedgehog. Yeah, he's doing like a cartoon voice. It's so obnoxious. How can you understand me? Well, stuff like that happens sometimes. Call it magic, call it whimsy. I call it normal, because we animals talk all the time. You people simply just don't want to listen. By the way, how easy was it to find out where they shot this movie, Brian? Oh, I just Googled the house address. Oh, was, you... <laughs> <laughs> that we see like eight times in the yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. Because oh, like the house that they live in over the door, it just has the address and yep. the street written in giant letters. Thank you, Rochester, Michigan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I literally found the house. I was like, well, got a road trip, Kyle. We're going up to visit the Andy, the talking head. Because we, what else? Uh, uh, was it Meltdown in Michigan? Yeah, Bay City, yes. Or yeah, basically, I don't know if they're near each other, but we could make a road trip and hit Andy the Head Talking Hedgehog House <laughs> and Bay City, Michigan. It'll be a hell of a <laughs> hell of a road trip. Um, Isn't that what Robert Zadar was saying as he was dying? <laughs> <laughs> It's like Sons of Bitches in Italian or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, that movie. Uh, so they, uh, they were introduced to the hedgehog and, and the little girl. Uh, and we get whenever they introduce new characters in this movie, they, they freeze frame on them. Yes. Oh, God. Me. Little Lily Mason, she's my best friend. A few days ago, she made a wish that changed everything. Nice day to play outside, right, Andy? And half some Word of advice, if you're going to freeze frame, make sure that your fucking shutter speed is at least twice your progression. Or just make sure, yeah, make sure you pick a frame that's that not in the middle of motion blur. <laughs> yeah. Hey, princess. That's Tina, Lily's funny older sister. She likes boys and pop music. Unless that's what you're going for, you can do that. Cause like you can do even a motion, a freeze frame of a motion blur, but it has to be very intentional. Like you're trying to freeze on like a, an action. No, they just, the, 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 the fucking daughter when she's introduced, the cheerleader daughter, mm -hmm. her freeze frame, she's like, <laughs> like for, yeah, it's, oh my God. Hey daddy. Oh, she's also a great belly rubber. Okay, just a little belly rub. Maybe a little bit under the chin would be nice too. I'm just gonna kick my foot. So then we're introduced to Dean Kane, who's playing Bob, which is a very un-Dean Kane yes. name for a character. Oh, this guy here is Bob. He's Lily's dad. He works a lot. But he's playing Bob the dad. He's an ag he's a sports agent. Uh, uh, yes. That's his his career. He's working on a on a, a quarterback contract. Yes. He's Gotta working go. on Trevor Lawrence's contract. Apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh. I gotta go. Honey, where's, where's my briefcase? In the living room, hun. Yeah. My briefcase? In the living room, hun. Um, uh, we're also introduced to the cat, which I can't remember its name. It's a sphinx. They have a sphinx cat, one yes. of the hairless ones. Right. Bob, would you call off your critter, please? He always hisses at me when I'm cooking. Whiskers, cut it out. That's Whiskers, Bob's pet from the old days. Whiskers has serious issues. And it just lurks on top of a cabinet, and it's just like, Meh. And by the way, by the way, there's this part later on. I want to bring this up because it's absolutely fucking hilarious. Dean Cain did not know that this cat was hairless because he refers to it at one point later in the film as a furball. So are you still talking? Huh? Are you still talking, you furry little thing? Maybe it's being ironic, Kyle. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe he didn't know. Yeah. He had no He was never in a shot with the no, cat. No, no, not at all. Well, the cat, I'm not even sure, is even in, like, was ever on set. Like, it's always stock footage of it. was once. It was uh, one of the um, Oh, guys yeah, one of the, the criminals is holding yep. it at one point. You're right. But we also, like the hedgehog, get a million different 
CG, like um, not CG, a million different stock footage shots of Sphinx cats that are all not the same cat. Mm -hmm. Like they just, uh, great, um, great job movie. Yeah, you're, you're killing it. So she's outside and she makes the daughter, the, and I can't remember her name, Lily, Lily I don't know. Something whatever. like that. Um, she makes a wish. She makes a wish. She has a wish that all the plants and animals could talk so she can talk, she can have friends and talk to the plants and animals. I sure wish you could all talk. And that's where the magic begins. Uh, and then they fucking do. They all yeah, just start talking. Yeah, because shows up and she's like, I'm your best friend, Fairy. <laughs> yeah. Magic. She walks through a bush and, and yep. Fairy Tara well, she, Reed. She, okay. In a 1950s <laughs> wedding dress. <laughs> yes. she, Tara Reed says uh, to this to this little girl out in the middle of this neighborhood, she's like, come over here. Come over <laughs> come here, little the girl. Bushes. Hey, kid. Hi, where, where did you come from? The bushes. Step in. This child, who's had little to no stranger danger training whatsoever, Just wanders through the bushes like, to this what? person. Candy in an unmarked van? Hell yeah, I'm in. Yeah, person <laughs> dressed and looking like Tara Reed. I'll come talk and trust you. Like it's, <laughs> yeah, horrifying. Don't uh, child children. Don't one shouldn't be watching this show. <laughs> Two, if you are, don't ever. If somebody dressed uh, like Tara Reed comes up to you or any adult really, and it's like, hey, come on, come check out these bushes. Don't go check out the bushes. No, oh, no, no, no. don't do that. All things growing, chirping, or squeaking. Get ready to do some serious purple speaking. And that was it. With those magical words, I was able to speak. But now, uh, Tara Reed, a fairy. Uh, grants this wish and allows uh, all the animals and plants and they can to only talk be heard by, by her, her unless she wants other people to hear them. Yes, it's like the caveat because eventually everybody can hear the yes. animals. Smart little fella. Oh, thanks, funny looking little fairy chick. I get that a lot. Uh, and I love during this scene <laughs> while she's talking to Tara Reed, the little girl is holding the hedgehog and it is. This happens a ton of times. The hedgehog does not want to be held. Struggling its hardest to get out of the whatever the hands the of clutches. whoever is holding it. Yeah, it is. There's this moment, and then later in the movie, Tara Reed is holding it like this and talking to it, and it is desperately trying to flee. Like it is. No, like, no, 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 please put me down. You scared me. I scared you. This is our bathroom. Wait a second. Wait, where am I? <laughs> it's. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. You and the animals and, and the flowers, flowers and the flowers can all go back to being just you. And then God shows up. Oh, hi, boss. Missy, do you realize what you've just done? Or no, he's the fairy king, I found yes. out, according to his Twitter page where he posted a picture of himself and Tara Reid in a green screen set recording this movie. Oh, I'm sorry, you mean like, you mean the uh, cast, uh, somebody who is Keith David-like? Yes, yeah, <laughs> Keith David-like was definitely the note. We, we want a, God, a, a character who can play like God, basically. Um, and yeah, he, he shows up and he's like, you, you fucked up. You violated a 31A directive that forbids us from allowing flowers, animals, or birds to talk to people. By making the animals talk, and now I'm gonna teach you a lesson by turning you into a frog for three seconds, and then turning you back into a human. Please don't turn me to a toad again last time! Ribbit! It would've been funnier if she stayed a frog. Yeah, why didn't the they keep her a frog? And then yeah. also Tara Reid wouldn't have had to like be on set. That would've been like an easy, way to write her out of the movie like, like in terms of like not at least like make her you have her restored at the end or something yeah like yeah like, yeah which makes would make sense i wonder if she was like no i'm not being a you can have the like the event like she's struggling to get back to lily to make her undo the wish yeah and you she's got to get to some, lily's pad yeah <laughs> uh and it, i don't we don't even know if her name's really Lily. <laughs> no i don't know either. <laughs> but you can have antics of this toad yeah. trying to get yeah. there i bet that's what they envisioned because he turns her into a frog or a toad for like three seconds mm. and i bet they were like well we can't do anything with this toad we're not going to be able to like wrangle this toad and get it to, so we'll just turn her back into tara reed because and also i think maybe tara reed was like well i don't want to be just a frog for the whole movie you signed me to be in this movie i want to be in this movie not a fucking frog with my voice you have no idea how that stings so we're introduced now to our criminals yes these are our criminals and 
Kyle, they're fantastic. One of them is I don't know. Oh, Bubba. His name's Bubba. Um, he play. He's playing Curly from mm-hmm. the Three Stooges. Um, and then the other ones, I don't know what his name Basically, is. Basically, Mo. He's like damn near Sicilian with how Italian he is. Yeah, but it also sounds Russian sometimes. I feel like, but yeah, he's he's Italian. You big, Adami. What's the matter, you? Uh, I'm sorry, you, you you scared me. I don't know why I bring you out under these jobs. Um, and he's doing uh he. Because of his accent, he calls Bubba Booba, and I could not <laughs> not laugh every time he nice. said Booba. Yeah. Booba. Booba. I was just like, Booba. Booba. Great. Um, but they're, they're like... They want to enter? They're like maintenance workers yeah. or something. But specifically, he pulls a, a, news, a news clipping out of his cl- pocket and goes... They're doing one million dollar for the greatest thing you've ever seen. The great, the no, it's a weirdest thing weirdest in your thing home you- competition. It's a contest. A contest for what? To find the weirdest thing you can in your home and put it on the internet. That's not a thing. What the fuck? Weirdest thing in your home competition? Whatever. And. So they need to come up with something, but they have a plan initially. Their plan is uh, Bubba's going to do his his routine, and his routine, Kyle, is the main guy plays harmonica, yes. and Bubba burps and farts. Yep. Because that's hilarious. Let's practice. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> And this movie's hilarious. How funny is it? How hilarious is it? The funniest, Kyle. <laughs> it's so funny. Kyle, did you see the part where the guy farted and burped? <laughs> or the uh, m- number of times throughout the film that they added like a fart a noise? A fart in? noise anytime he does anything because he's fat, Kyle? <laughs> Come on, get out of there! <laughs> Comedy! <laughs> Comedy, Kyle! Kyle! It's comedy! Get that booba! Let's go! Kyle! It's comedy! Okay, this movie's stupid. <laughs> Thank you for your choice, Brian. Thank you for your choice in movies for us to watch. I love I, this. Kyle, is all your fault. The best part of this movie. Is Dean Kane, and we're getting close to the win. You all should happens. just be happy that this is more tolerable than Blood Camp 8. A little bit, moderately more tolerable than Blood Camp 8, uh, just slightly. You are going to sing a song to my tits. Oh, God. Uh, we get we get literally like five minutes combined of these two clowns trying to get a ladder onto the roof. Oh Kyle. Hey, go, 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 this is comedy hijinks Fucking gold. gold. Kyle, peak is, comedy. Peak comedy. Peak comedy. I mean, imagine two guys who are kind of, kind of clumsy, mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to use a ladder. Kyle, you now can, you can't find something. You can't find anything funnier than that. I can't imagine a single thing in the world funnier than two clumsy guys improvising, not being able to use a ladder. Kyle, Kyle, it's the most brilliant piece of cin- like five seconds of cinema. It broke new seconds. ground. It break, breaks new ground, Kyle. Okay, I'm a turning. They don't know how to use a ladder, Kyle. They think they're like what? Maybe we do this. Maybe we fold it and then we can unfold it. And then they spin, Kyle, they spin, they spin it. in circles they spin it. for like 45 seconds, Kyle. It's so goddamn funny. Kyle. It's hilarious. I can't keep that. No.
Uh, we, we go up, uh, and then this is where we go up to the room, and this is where the sister, the older sister, gets to find out that the hedgehog can talk. Mm -hmm. um, and we're introduced to her. Uh, um, uh, she's a cheerleader. Yep. Al always dressed as a cheerleader yep. the whole movie. All the time. All of her friends All always dressed as a cheerleader the whole movie. Mm -hmm. um, and we're introduced to her f cheerleader friend, uh, at least the first one, Tr Trixie, maybe? Yes. Who's the, who's dumb, the one. dumb one? Mm -hmm. She lives in her own La La Land. That must be nice. Oh, don't worry, honey, you do too. Really? <laughs> Is it because I'm dumb? Taking selfies all the time, but they're introducing you the fact that, wow, this, this hedgehog can talk. Can you actually talk, little rat? I'm a hedgehog, sweetheart, not a rat. <gasps> oh my god. That is so bum. I can't believe he can really talk. And I love, I don't know if you notice it, every time Trixie takes, she's taking selfies like, she's turning, the camera is like where that camera is. Mm -hmm. And she's turning, oh, she, here, let me get my camera out. She's turning uh, away from the camera and then going to take a selfie. And every time she does, you can see the camera and the camera person <laughs> in her phone. Nice. <laughs> It's there's, fantastic. There's a, there's a lot of shots with Dean Kane because he's by some bay windows where you can see yes, the, uh, the, the boom, boom mic. mic, the reflection <laughs> in the in the in the fucking windows of the boom mic. Yeah, absolutely. And then as Dean Kane's going to work that day, uh, as her friends are up in her room, as he's leaving, we're introduced to the other cheerleader friend, uh, and this is Trisha, I believe, and she's hitting on Dean Kane. Yes. Hi, Mr. Mason. Hi, uh, Trixie. Oh. No, I'm Tori. Trixie's my dummy cheermate. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, and I have to imagine that was Dean Kane's idea. <laughs> yes. She needs to find me attractive. Yes. But Dean Kane, we just said you're a fifth year old man who used to play Superman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's later in the No, it's that's later, later in the movie, yeah. Um, but she she walks up and she's like, hey, Mr. Kane, whatever the fuck his name is, and the Bob, Bob. <laughs> whatever. Hey, Mr. Bob. Hey, Mr. Bob. And and she's like clearly flirting with him, and then he walks away, and she and turns, turns and, and them gives them the up and down like four times. Bye, don't work too hard, Mr. Mason. Bye. And then says, "Fox." Fox. <laughs> and I, Kyle, I almost quit the movie right there. <laughs> I was like, really? Don't, nope, don't like Dean that. Kane's, okay, in in his in his writer for the contract, he's like, I need her to irate me. Yeah, over and over. Yeah, uh, a, a a literal child, Kyle. A literal <laughs> uh, like junior in high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great, good shit, Gene Kane. Well done. You're fucking killing it. Fox. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, also, all of uh, Dean Cain's exterior shots that they shot in this movie were filmed on the foggiest day of the yes. goddamn year. God. It's, it looks like it looks like a fucking Lovecraftian <laughs> horror is like encroaching on this town. It's like, yes. <laughs> it's like the mist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking wild. It's like everything is completely fogged out. And then, uh, so Trisha goes inside and goes to talk to the mom. And this is the first time it happens in the movie. But Kyle, it will not be the last. They shot significant portions of this movie on the wrong frame rate yes. or shutter speed or yes. something? Hi, Tori. The girls are upstairs. You guys better hurry so you're not late for first hour. Don't worry about it, Mrs. Mason. I'll herd the girls out super fast. What the hell? I'm not exactly sure it what the issue was. It getting like crazy. It's, it's, and it's throughout the rest of the movie from here, like mm. their B camera. I think it's always like the B camera. I think mm. they're filming like multiple cameras and it's the second camera is, is operating at like assuming, that, I don't know what this movie is. 25 probably. No, I'm thinking this movie's 30, like because they did it on yeah. video. It's probably at 30 normally. And I think this camera is shooting at like 15 frames per second. It's what, what? it looks like. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, but check it, your settings. Yes. Holy shit. It's like it, every, yeah, it's, it looks so terrible. Uh, and then Trixie gets up to the room and we find out that Trixie's like a fucking psychopath. Now I know why you're captain of the team. It's all about being in control and never losing your cool. I'm thinking of writing a book. It would really benefit women like you. <sighs> Uh, we also, I, one thing I, we, uh, there's, oh, by the, by the way, Dean, call me, 
Don't call me. <laughs> Don't ever call me. Leave me alone, Dean Kane. Go away. Um, but then in this moment, the hedgehog just asks them to let him yeah, go, let me, roam let me around. go roam around. And they're me. like, sure, talking hedgehog. Yeah. Could I go wander around on my own now? Do you even have the slightest idea what a dangerous world it is out there? Sure I do. Go for it. And then we just spend 15, because again, we had to fill time. This movie is only an hour and 15 minutes long. And the padding is nuts. And the padding is nuts. And this is one of those moments where they're like, okay, how do we, we, Kyle, we went to Pond 5. We bought all these random stock footage shots. Although we do need a shot of a hedgehog. Of our hedgehog falling down a flight of stairs. Yes, got to fall down a flight of stairs. We'll get a shot of it falling down some stairs. Stairs. I didn't think about stairs. Okay. I'm just going to peek my head over the edge here. I'm just going to peek my head. Oh, wait, wait. Ah. Uh, but now we have all these random shots of a hedgehog, Kyle. There's one where it's like on a log. One where there's two of them drinking milk. Mm. How are we going to work these into our movie, Kyle? Mm. We'll just mm. have a montage of, the, of, of a voiceover of the hedgehog. <laughs> I am a little irritated that the, the director can't say the word milk. Is that milk? Oh my God, he says milk. Yes. That's not how you say that word, Kyle. <laughs> it's milk. Did Lily put out milk for me? It is. I love milk. Milk, 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 milk. <laughs> I didn't know this milk. So I had a, I had, a, I had an all caps note about <laughs> milk because he says milk like eight milk. times. Mm, milk. And I was like, that's not how you say that. M E L K. <laughs> Then he, cause so the way they do this is like use all this random footage is the, the voiceover goes, now I'm going to go climb a log. And then it cuts to a shot of a different hedgehog on a log. And then he's mm -hmm. like, now I'm going to invite a friend over to drink some milk. What should I do next? Hey, you know, I wonder if my friend Mike wants to come over for some milk. And then this random other hedgehog shows up and it's a guy, an old guy doing like an old man hedgehog voice. And he goes, ugh. My knees and my tendonitis are flaring up. It's like, what is happening? Andy, my knees are acting up. My tendonitis is acting up. These veterinarians, man, they don't know what they're talking about. He's complaining about it's a hedgehog complaining about his tendonitis. <laughs> and then, yeah, they're drinking milk, milk. Um, this outside scene where he's outside roaming around is pure chaos. Is that a dog? Stay very still, he doesn't see me. He does, he sees me. Run, scramble, run. I can't, my legs are too small. He's coming very, very fast. He's a very fast dog. Ball up, get in the ball, get in the ball. And I was like, did the CIA design this to make me specifically go insane, Kyle? Because yes. it really felt like it. It really felt like, like it in it's, this It's moment. like in Waco where they were blasting the chair <laughs> to get yeah. them out. Just this this scene playing on loop on a giant TV screen. This like five minutes of like chaos improv. improv Brian, improv Brian's in there for like, you know, he's, he's got, he's got, it, he's got it. <laughs> he's got his Davidian standoff going 15 minutes in. He's like, I give up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that moment for sure. Did Lily put out milk for me? It is. I love milk. Milk, 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 milk. Yeah. Um, no, they just they keep playing the hedgehog and they just hear a, a lone gunshot in the distance. <laughs> And they're like, all right, wrap up. that's a wrap on Andy the Hedgehog. We got our mission accomplished here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so they decide they're going to exploit the Hedgehog because he can talk by using him in their science Which, fair. Which, by the way, does, can't every animal talk? Yeah, in the movie, yeah. Any of them could. And not just the animal, the plants, too. Plants also, which there's, they remind us of. There's roses times. in a vase, right? Yeah. Hey, don't, don't forget, forget about, about us. Plants, too. That are in, in the uh, kitchen or whatever. Yeah. The entire time, I was really I was really wanting them to be super self-aware and have the roses be like, Ah! ah I'm cutting in half! Why am I cut? Ah! Why do you do this to us? What happened to my legs? What happened to my legs? 
it's just like it's like it's like a fucking uh, World War Two like beach, you know, it's like the storming of Normandy or whatever, but like in a road. It's or it's like, that'd be a great shot is if it, if it's before the mom can hear the flowers and she's sitting there at her and she's like pruning flowers and we just get a voiceover. Oh God! Oh please no! Ah! God. Oh, please, no. ah. Ah, ah, I'm cutting him. Why am I cutting? Oh, what are you and this was before Lily allowed everybody to hear. Yeah, that's what I mean. So Lily just walks in yeah. and she hears blood. And she just looks screams. at her mom. Like, <laughs> great. That would have been a good joke. That would have been a really funny moment. It was way too dark for this movie. No, though. no, it wouldn't. The end of this movie is a fucking. It's a Lynchian twisted, like, uh, fucking nightmare, Kyle. The whole end of this movie, it gets super weird and dark. No, I think that would have been right in line tonally with the rest of this fucking film. <coughs> no, I'm never ever going to work ever again. When animals and plants can talk, my interface with the real world officially stops. So, uh, then I love this. Um, this is when Dean Cain gets to start hearing the talking animals. Yes. And Kyle, this is when the movie becomes incredible. It's fucking insane. It becomes incredible, Kyle. Yes. Dean Cain uh, hears the hedgehog, and then he starts losing his mind. You forget something? Excuse me? I asked you if you forgot anything. Yeah. I... Uh, Jerry, I'm going to have to call you back. Yes. He's like, you're a talking hedgehog. I'm talking to a hedgehog. I'm overstressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm My overstressed. My wife told me this would happen. And you're talking too. Hmm. Yep. I am losing my mind. You okay, Bob? You've got a funny look on your face. <laughs> I'm fine, Andy. I am just going insane. And then Tara Reed now realizes that this is a problem, and so she calls she calls uh, uh, the daughter into the bathroom. Or I don't remember. I think it's like the bathroom at Maybe school, right? Like she calls. Her I think so. Room. Yeah. And and then she's like, look, I. Uh, my, my boss told me this was a mistake making the animals talk and look what it's doing to your dad no, And we crazy. zoom into this yeah, portal God, And he's just going nuts. Dean Kane is slightly out of focus. It's really annoying. Yes, Kyle this I am convinced this scene of of Dean Kane talking to a hedgehog was not staged Yeah, they this, just they just hit the record. They were button. just rolling on a drunk Dean Kane <laughs> Talking about his life because the lines in this movie or in this scene also work for real life Dean Kane, Kyle. You know, Andy, when I was young, I used to be a heck of a football player. I was all conference, all state. I thought I was invincible, you know? It's just him talking about he used his, to be an athlete. His failed football career. Yeah, his yeah. failed football career and how he used to be a big shot and how he used to do important things. I thought I could do anything. Never thought about growing old. Never thought about days like today. I mean, <laughs> how could I? You know, you and me talking. Yeah. And now he doesn't even know what he's doing with his life anymore, and he's washed up, and I'm like, Kyle, oh my God, Kyle. Oh boy. Oh my God, Kyle, they just got- way Dean, too into it. They just got real Dean Kane. And the end of this movie fucking confirms it. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, this movie is brilliant. This movie is a brilliant fucking deconstruction of Dean Kane's mind. Uh, uh, masquerading as a fun talking kids animal kids movie this movie is we'll get there it's insanity I have to think I can do anything you know make the big play the, the touchdown the, the game saving tackle no I don't feel like I can really do anything but yeah he's he's oof. it's the most genuine performance I've ever seen from Dean Kane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's too real. Oh man, that's nice. And yeah, like when you cuddle like that. I like you too, Bob. Hmm. We also have to introduce uh, the 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 romantic teacher subplot for no reason. You look, you you look very nice today, Miss Albanet. Thank you. I got a new dress. Do you like it? Very nice. There's two because teachers at school. The only it, it, it yeah, it serves no purpose from a motivation standpoint, except that like we need you to give to make a good wish to cancel out your dumb selfish one. Yeah, basically. So they explained that um 
the uh, there's these two teachers and they want they 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 like each other but they won't tell each other that they like each other and but all the cheerleaders know that they like each other and they set that up for of the end they, of the movie. they hang out at the classrooms like oogling each oogling other each instead other. of be, you know in the staff room or whatever yeah then we cut <laughs> back to Dean Kane who is now off the deep end yes. Kyle he is sitting at home in a bathrobe eating potato chips <laughs> potato and watching chips. cartoons on his phone dad why aren't you at work? Work. Cartoons. Potato chips. And it's the greatest performance by Dean Cain that I've ever <laughs> fucking seen. He's just not, like, like <laughs> munching on these potato chips. The duck and the pig and the two guys that go boom to each other. Hey, Amy. And then he starts barking at his wife, and she's like, please stop barking. And he's just barking no, at his no, wife. No, I'm barking. Bob, you're barking. Stop it. Bob, talk to me. No, Bob, talk to me, dear. Don't bark. It's incredible. I don't know whose idea this was, but I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you making Dean Kane do this. Stop it! Roll over! Here, run my hair. Right here, behind me. Do it! Do it! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Do it! And then his wife <laughs> turns to him and says, Is it too early to drink? And Dean Kane's eyes light up for the first time in years. And he's like, Now you're talking. Is it too early to drink? Now you're talking. I get no Like, oh that boy. was after the wife learned that animals could yes. talk. Yes, once she learns that they can. Because she now she out. goes crazy too. Yes. Oh no, she actually handles it pretty well. Like she goes crazy for like a scene, and then yeah. she's fine and seems completely disinterested in helping Dean Kane get through this nope. at all. No, nope. she's just like, "Dad's crazy now." I guess I, I, don't know. I warned you. All that stress <laughs> at work would make you go crazy. Hey, oh, don't, don't forget, forget about, about us. us. I'm going back to bed. I just want to talk about the scene where the cat talks about getting truckered. <laughs> Kyle, it's right around here. This he, needs to just be a phrase for every truckered. time it happens. She get, he's reminiscing. This cat is reminiscing to them about his, his old love. You know nothing about love. And you do? Yeah. How could you, Mr. Um, furry thing? <laughs> I know what it's like to love. Yes. His lost love. And he talks about how they used to go and like spend all this time together. Mm -hmm. And then one day they were walking just, across she, the street. <laughs> or she ran out into the street yeah, or something like that. And got ran over by, <laughs> was it a garbage truck? Uh, he's just, yeah, a truck of some sort. Yeah. And he says she got truckered. <laughs> I got up in the highest tree I could find. I looked everywhere. She'd been truckered. <laughs> Flattened. Smushed. Kaput. And then he says this line, Kyle. It's this so, this, this cat's cat so dark. Gets so dark. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. He <laughs> says, "Sooner or later, the truck comes for all of us." What? Sooner or later, the truck comes for all of us. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god! And he says that, and he goes, <laughs> "And after she died." I sat here alone in a prison of my own thoughts. From there on in, I sat here alone in a prison of my own thoughts. <laughs> what the fuck? I love, I love this cat's dialogue so much. It's some fucking amazing. Why are we all here just to suffer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... Uh, then uh, the the hedgehog goes uh, to find Tara Reed in the fairy realm, mm. and she picks him up. And this is the scene I'm talking about, where it's like struggling <laughs> as hard as possible to get out of her hands. Um, and and also the key on her during this scene is terrible. The fucking crown she's wearing is like keying in and out constantly. It's so bad. Good lord. Um, but she basically explains that uh, we're gonna have to 
reverse it or something yep. like that because it's 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 but causing I like issues. talking. Yeah. I, I enjoy communicating and stuff. Yeah, but no. Um, <clears throat> and then we cut to that night. This is the night before, I believe, the night before the maybe the night before the uh, the science show or whatever mm. or the science. Um, what is that called? Science fair. Science fair. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Uh, and we go back to Dean Kane still losing his mind. Also, we get another line from the Doomer cat. The cat says, "The truck is just right around the corner for all of us. Sooner or later, none of us escape with our skins." <laughs> It's so good. I love this whole movie is a weird nihilistic prank. I wrote that here, and then by the end, I was more you, convinced yes. than ever. I was not. I was amazed how correct I was. Yeah, so I Andy is the, the the hedgehog is going to give up his powers. Uh, at least I assume that's when it was going to happen. Um, and then we cut to school, and she. I guess she brought Andy in for show and tell in this moment or something because she's talking to the teacher about this talking hedgehog, um, and the teacher handles a talking hedgehog. Completely in stride. Yep. Hedgehog starts talking to her. She's like, yeah, this is a normal day. This is fine. Everything's fine. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but I really think that I'm more than just a pet. Oh, my. What was your name again? Andy, ma'am. Pleased to meet you, Andy. Uh, and then uh, he gets belly rubs for world peace, Kyle. Yay. He loves belly rubs for world peace. Also, I love they freeze frame. The, the the bully girl comes up to the desk to pet the, the hedgehog and the movie freeze frames and the voiceover says, and this is where she gave me a belly rub. And I'm like, you know, you're pretty good at petting me. And this is where Betsy gave me a really good belly rub. Well, then why didn't you show us that movie? Because I guarantee what happened is she got bit by a fucking hedgehog. <laughs> And they just freeze framed it and like, and then everything went perfectly and we didn't have to call an ambulance or anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, and then we cut back to the bad guys because I forgot they were in this movie completely. Um, they've disappeared for most of it. Yeah. Uh, and they show up um, and I don't even remember what they're here to do. With. I mean, they still want to steal the hedgehog because mm. they, they think it can talk. And then, uh, but they're, they're still snooping around in the house. I think they get the cat or something. It doesn't matter. We go to the, the science fair the next day. Um, and all of a sudden, there are two extra cheerleaders there now. I was like, who are these okay. people? We don't know who either of them are. Um, and right as they're going up on stage to present to their talking hedgehog, the daughter leans in and makes a wish. wish yeah. I love you, Andy. I love you too, Lily. And I know what you have to do. I wish. Friends and family. And I think she wishes away its ability to talk. Well, she wishes that the dumb teachers would fall in love, I guess, mm. or, or realize they were in love. And now the hedgehog can't talk. And I guess none of the cheerleaders noticed her doing this while they were all sitting right next to her. They still go up there and they're like, and here is a talking hedgehog. And then it just squeaks at people. Come on, Andy. Talk. Uh, no, no. <laughs> We get some classic Three Stooges hijinks in the yard with the criminals. They're, they're trying to chase the hedgehog they have, they have still. They have a, a, a like plush hedgehog that they're yeah. throwing around. They're trying to chase the hedgehog, and then it um, the, also the cat is involved in the chase somehow, and the cat almost runs out in the street and gets hit by a car. <laughs> but the he almost got truckered. Almost got truckered. But the truckered. <laughs> yeah, but the hedgehog is like, no, look out, don't go out there. And he saves the cat, so now the cat likes the hedgehog because he, mm. he looked out for him. Whiskers. Look out! Come on! Truck! Ah. Oh. I almost got truckered. What is he in red like GTA yeah, text? Yeah. Truckered. Yeah. Trucker. <laughs> she been truckered. Yeah. Flattened. Smushed. Kaput. Uh, and then we 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 get to um I forgot to mention that this movie opens in media res we actually open in the end of the film mm. it's not important but that's how the movie opens is the 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 bad guys with the hedgehog um and then we get back to that moment and they see through the window they see the daughter sees the bad guys taking her hedgehog and she goes dean kane they're taking my hedgehog and he goes game saving tackle <laughs> and this moment he Kyle, channels his inner safety at princeton <laughs> kyle i cannot stress enough how incredible this moment is <laughs> 
they it's, they put all their budget and yes, and they're like one rehearsal moment. into this one moment. The door swings open in, in slow mo. Game saving tackle. And super slow mo. Dean Cain bursts forward in a bathrobe, holding a bag of potato yes. chips. He, he throws the chips the to the chip. side. And if you notice, I don't know if you notice this, if you look closely as the potato chips are falling. There's one falling into his mouth. No. Damn. But they very clearly, this they, they didn't shoot this with an actual super slow-mo camera. They probably shot this at like 60 FPS or something mm -hmm. and then slowed it down even more in After Effects because if you look at the potato chips as they're falling, the, the frame interpolation or whatever Ooh. is doing some yeah. very weird... It's doing that <laughs> artifacting that artificial slow-mo does in After Effects mm. when you change the fr frame blending or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. But throws the potato chips and then uh, he runs... <laughs> And he just fucking flattens that dude. It's a little disappointing. I hoped he was going to tackle him. He just yeah. kind of, like, pushes him. Yeah. It sure is a good thing that Lily has a super dad to come rescue me. And the guy drops the most obvious stuffed hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. The hedgehog has turned into a giant stuffed animal at this point. Um... Knocks it up in the air, and then we get this crazy slow mo shot weaving in and out of like all the people like staring at the aftermath of this. And then oh, the camera no. finally pulls back to Dean Kane standing triumphantly with his slippered foot upon the bad guy. <laughs> and Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, his wife, wife, walks out of the house in a cheerleader's out. And I was like, wait a second, what? You still got it, number seven. What is going on? What the fuck? And I was like, why is she wearing a cheerleader outfit now? And she walks up and says that. She says, wait, why am I wearing a cheerleading outfit? <laughs> Have I always been wearing a cheerleading outfit? Dean Kane turns and looks down the barrel of the camera the and says, you have been this whole time. You have in my mind. And this is all just a figment of my imagination. What, Kyle? And this is all just a figment of my imagination. Well, that's it. Kyle, what? this movie is just the depraved uh, insanity, the descent into insanity of Dean Cain. This movie might be brilliant. This movie might be genius, <laughs> Kyle. This movie might be operating on a level that none of us can understand. It's a lot of shit for a payoff, though. It, Holy shit. I was... So unprepared for that moment of Dean Cain looking right down the barrel and being like, it's all in my head. My head, Dean Cain's head. Yep. And this is all just a figment of my imagination. Fuck you. My daughter made a wish in my head. <laughs> it's I can hear fucking animals. wild. Which does make more sense for the scene earlier where the, the cheerleader's hitting on him. It all has been taking yep. place in his head the whole time, Kyle. Yep. Uh, I kind of love that. Uh, and then we get the credits, and as the credits roll, the director doing the voice of the oh hedgehog yeah. talks over all the credits, including complimenting himself as the director. Whoa, is this one of those Joel Paul Reisick movies? He's like a really big time director. Big time? Huh? He's small potatoes, kid. Wow. <laughs> It's incredible. This is Dean Kane. He's like 50 something now, and he played Superman a long time yeah. ago. That's Dean Kane. He played Superman on TV a long time ago. He's 50 now. It's fucking amazing. I love the one one of the the, the cheerleader girl, um, the one who was hitting on Dean Kane. He's like, he's like, and this is Kira, whatever her name is. She talked about Jesus a lot. <laughs> well, I like Kila. She says praise Jesus a lot. I mean, like, a lot. Like, he's like, she would not stop mentioning Jesus. I was like, what is it's happening? in morning these... prayer before, yeah, before like, shooting. What is happening in these credits right now? Uh, and then I just wanted to read a couple of, uh, I thought these would be fitting here, a couple of 10-star reviews on IMDb. Oh, no. That I absolutely agree with, Kyle. After I, I read these before I watched the movie. Uh -huh. Then I watched the movie, and I was like, oh, my God, they're right. This is a 10-star okay, movie. hit me with it. Ma uh, Marga Bake on imdb says <clears throat> 10 stars 
After viewing the trailer for this film, my hopes were low. However, I am glad I gave it a second chance because, all caps, wow. Ray, Reed puts on a glowing performance with complexity and grace and a comeback that is likely to be met with an Oscar nomination. <laughs> With Kane as her co-star, the chemistry between these two is palpable. They never share a scene, Kyle! They don't talk to each other. They have no moments on camera. They don't have a conversation. Not what once. What the fuck? <laughs> the chemistry between these two is palpable. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper have nothing on these two. What I cannot recommend fuck? this film enough. Ten stars. Second review. From Zachamania24. Dean Cain deserves an Oscar is the title of this review. That's the title of the review. Ten stars. This is a brave movie about a man's descent into madness. Yes. <laughs> Dean Cain perfectly presents the struggle of addiction and depression as he battles his trauma in the manifestation of a talking hedgehog. <coughs> Ten stars, Kyle. Kyle, this movie's good, Bravo. man. I would say good, man. Bravo. I will say it's kind of stupid. It's so boring at some point. Uh, I never actually found it super boring because it's super short. It's an hour and 15 yeah, minutes long. Like, it's as short as can be. Uh, and five of those are credits. Um, I would say it's good, man, uh, because I love the, the ending <laughs> so much. And Dean Cain, every moment with him, as, like, d uh, again, his descent into crippling uh, madness is inspiring <laughs> and hilarious and amazing and i love everything about it um, listening to a dog or a dog a cat slowly talk about death yeah over and over yeah again. listen to a cat uh uh yeah go on wax poetically about death <laughs> the shadows of life are creeping over us as we wait for death's cold embrace <laughs> oh man um so yeah i i kind of fucking that needs to be like the title of a slam poem truck like slam poetry <laughs> Ooh, that would be a good yeah from the and, and it's from the uh it's uh, from the mind of the cat. katie <laughs> it's from the voice of the cat in this movie it's just called truckered and it's like him like it's like a nihilistic like beat poem about death <laughs> called truckered <laughs> that would be fantastic oh, holy shit good. um that's gonna be over this episode uh as always you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash gb or bb supporting us there uh, you can also do us a favor by supporting us on tpublic.com. Just search for Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, um, and you get actually. We're, we're not, not, we're not, not rocking any. merch, but not I am rocking a bitch and Neil Breen shirt. Bitch and Neil shirt. Um, yeah, you got a new. That was a yes. sweet. Uh, your sister gave yep. that to you for nice your birthday, birthday, right? <laughs> it's so good. Laptop, cell phone, guide to hacking government systems. Yep. Tuna. You need you need your tuna. That's important. <laughs> What does the line say? You can the you can't see you can't it. At see the bottom it. it says you can control access to anything and everything from my little simple brilliant setup. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, tpublic.com you can get uh, buy a bunch of different merch there and that sort of thing. Uh, I have a podcast called This Film Was That we're talking about movies that are based on books. When this is out, we will be into our first episode of the summer series, what? and the summer series is. The Hunger Games. We're doing the Hunger Games this year, so we'll be talking about the Hunger Games on our most recent episode when this is out. Kyle. Uh, sometimes we occasionally stream yes. on Twitch, twitch.tv slash our names with other stuff you'll see. You can watch me play 20-year-old video games. Yeah. Huzzah. Huzzah <laughs> indeed. Uh, and that's that's it. That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, keep fucking watching movies. I, I guess. I say yes. He says yes. I say yay. Andy the Talking Hedgehog. It's on Tubi, Kyle. It's free. The Descent and Madness of Superman. <laughs> Kyle, this whole episode's been a figment of my imagination. <laughs> <laughs>